What's going on guys? This is Ansgar. I'm back with week eight and this week's video is going to be a campus tour of my university, which is the University of Miami. Now I love our campus. It's super gorgeous. Um, great place to hang out even outside of classes and so you're not going to see too much of me during this video, but I'm going to let all the scenes do the talking and just let you guys experience what our campus is like and explore. Have fun guys. Let's start at the iconic University of Miami entrance on Stanford Drive. Now, there are a bunch of different entrances on campus, but typically when you first arrive on campus, this is a grand welcome you'll receive. It's framed by palm trees, these massive flagpoles, and a symmetrical circular round road. Now, this campus loves geometry, so you'll catch a lot of different odd shapes, circles, wave patterns, and a bunch of things like that all around campus if you pay close attention. Now, being a college student can be really expensive. If you're on your own, you're in school all the time, and you're always kind of on a budget. Especially in a place like Miami, things are always a bit more expensive than you might think they are. Uh, it's, so it's really good to have good spending habits and budget your money properly. My favorite tool for this is using the Biz Card. It is a debit card that helps you build credit as a college student. Uh, they have really, really great interactive courses on their app. You can learn a lot of different things, do a credit score, GPA check, and a bunch more to learn. They're really, really useful and really hone in on you being a college student. Uh, if you're someone that's on a budget and just starting out in college and really don't know where to start, this is something that I really highly recommend. It really changed my trajectory as someone that isn't really too into finance. And as soon as I figured this out and learned about Fizz, it really changed my spending habits and helped me save a lot of money and allocate my money towards better things. Definitely check it out. Now, right across from that, we have the Watsco Center. While our football field isn't located on our campus and a bit of a drive away, our basketball arena is, and it's always active. While it gets packed out during basketball season, it's not just for sports. The Watsko Center hosts yearly concerts, has our homecoming performances, and guest speakers all year round. Also, it's where commencement takes place, so when you graduate, this is where you walk the stage. Right behind that is the Centennial Village, our newest addition to campus. While we didn't have the, these luxurious dorms my freshman year, this year's incoming first class are the first ever to live here. It's absolutely massive and so gorgeous and took years for the university to build. An absolute masterclass. So if you're an incoming freshman, odds are this is where you'll stay your first year. Next up is Lakeside, our second newest housing spot on campus. Now, this opened up a few years before I landed on campus and is typically meant for sophomores, but you can get lucky as an upperclassman and secure a spot here. These are more apartment style living in contrast with Centennial, which is more dorm style. These include kitchens, a living room, and in-unit bathrooms. The place has a very unique geometrical structure, as you guys can see here, with more homey vibes on the inside. Now, scattered around these spots are classrooms. The University of Miami prides itself on small class sizes and state-of-the-art learning environments. So whether you're in a lecture hall or in a smaller seminar room, the focus here is definitely more on the interactive and hands-on learning style. And the classrooms definitely reflect that. Regardless of what they look on the outside, the insides are great. There's less structure in location when it comes to learning centers, so if you are new on campus, finding some classes might be difficult. For me, what really helped me out was visiting my classes and their buildings a day before of class, so you have the route already planned out when you're leaving in the morning. Now, we have a bunch of different study spots on campus, but my go-to, regardless of how basic it is, is Richter, our main library. Just something about sitting down facing 
to hours of schoolwork surrounded by tons of other kids in the same spot you are makes you feel kind of at home. Now, Richter isn't just any library. It's this five-story building with everything from quiet study rooms to collaborative spaces to computer labs. Plus, just the architecture and the natural light makes it a really inviting place to study and just lock in. Those are the main places on our campus. Now, we have a bunch of more miscellaneous spots scattered all around our campus, and so what I'm gonna do is try my best to take y'all around some of my favorite, just random spots to just walk around and chill. Take a look. Alright guys, that's all for today. I hope you all got a good glimpse of what our campus feels and looks like. If there's anything else that you'd like to see that you think I missed, please feel free to drop a comment. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next week. Peace.